It's a beautifully sunny Sunday afternoon at Lynn Stadium on the University of Louisville campus as we get set for quarterfinal action at the 2019 ACC Women's Soccer Championship featuring the four seed Louisville Cardinals and the fifth seeded Wolfpack from North Carolina State University. The game, a rematch of a showdown we saw just 72 hours ago. Anna Tuhi, the sophomore for North Carolina State, the game's only goal, her only goal of the season so far, and it gives the Wolfpack a much needed 1-0 win, one that put them into the ACC tournament. A reminder, only the top eight teams in the ACC make this tournament. There's the bracket as you see it. Florida State has just defeated Clemson. The defending national champions are through then to the ACC semifinals. Great to have you with us here on the ACC Network alongside longtime U.S. international, former Clemson Tiger, Aguchi Onyewu. I'm Sebastian Salazar. Sorry about your Clemson Tigers. Maybe we'll get into that in just a little bit. Intriguing matchup here today because these two teams have literally just played three days ago. What does that do to today's game? Nice little jab with Clemson. But obviously this is going to be a game about mental toughness, you know, playing a quick concession in three games and three two games in three days it's going to be very difficult but both teams they both had their chances to score i'm going to be very interested to see who's going to take their chances and who's going to go on to the next round today nc state looking for their 10th win of the season under tim santoro seventh year in charge of the wolf pack looking for his 60th victory while in charge of NC State. He'll roll out his lineup in a traditional 4-3-3 setup. Gucci, what are we looking at here? Yeah, I mean, this is going to be their general lineup that they've been doing. I'm looking at Joseph right now. She's a freshman in a heavy upperclassman team. She's been playing like an upperclassman. She's very dynamic. She's she's giving that, that support to King, who's been obviously their leading scorer with 12 goals this year. So looking for a very offensive-minded team today. Meanwhile, for Louisville, they'll be under the guidance of Karen Ferguson Days, was hired in the year 2000. This is her 20th season in charge of Louisville, a program looking for their 13th victory of the season. They'll roll things out in a 5-3-2 formation. Some key injuries to this team, though, so Karen Ferguson Days having to make some changes. Yeah, McKinney getting injured in the midfield with Curran sliding in there, and you see Whitfield sliding in the right back, and she was a front runner in that game. So now you're looking at Ekic and Rivers, that pair that has a combined of 12 goals this season to kind of lead this Louisville side to try and get to the next round. Louisville Cardinals, North Carolina State Wolfpack, a spot in the ACC Women's Soccer Championship semifinals on the line from Louisville. North Carolina State then in the all white kits operating left to right across your screen. Louisville, red tops, red shorts, red socks going right to left. I'm really looking at Louisville to try and take it to, to NC State today. Obviously they lost on their field just three days ago, and they have a little bit of redemption to, to get the victory today and get the good result. North Carolina State comes in with a record of 9-5-4, and 4-2-4 four, four, four in the Atlantic Coast Conference. Louisville 12-3-2, 5-3-2 in league play. The Cardinals ranked 14th in the latest national coaches poll. Of course, if you're a top five team in the hyper-competitive ACC, as both these schools have proven to be over the regular season, you're probably a pretty good lock to make the NCAA tournament, but a victory in this round would certainly sew that up for either of these two squads. Neve Nelson for Louisville playing it out wide. Jamise Joseph, the aforementioned number 15 for NC State, loses out. Nelson on the ball. The pass misfires out of bounds. Throw in coming for NC State. I'm really looking at the excitement in the early, early minutes of this game, the first 15 minutes, how each team is going to settle into their formation, settle into their playing style. You know, you see NC State, they're a very direct team. They're looking for Joseph there, or they're looking for King to get on the back, front of, back foot of the, the Louisville defense. But I want to see how this first 15 minutes is going to pan out for them. Joseph King to Blackwood. That's the trident up front for NC State. Wolfpack have the ball now. Waltling and Schuster, a couple of German players. 
who've been critical to this NC State program. Amin Ekic racing in behind. She's the number 10 for Louisville. Offside flag goes up. Ekic, certainly a player to watch. Eight goals, seven assists so far this season. Such an interesting player. Like you said, eight goals, the leading scorer on the team, but she's a midfield player, but obviously has that offensive prowess. As you can see, she's breaking lines to try and get behind the defense at that midfield position. So, you know, I think she's going to be a very pivotal player uh, point in this team to, to get this victory today. Ekic wears the number 10, plays like a classic number 10. You've seen her at all throughout this season. One of the many strong points of her game, the through ball. Something we should enjoy here this afternoon. Rankin on the ball. She's the left back. Number eight for NC State. Schuster, the right back. These two will switch sides from time to time. Schuster, in fact, played on the left back position when these two teams met on Thursday on this same field. As we told you, game NC State won by a final score of one. Nothing very different conditions that night. It's 55 degrees and sunny today. It was 37 degrees with 20 mile an hour winds on Thursday night. NC State did win 1 0, but Louisville had a lot of opportunities to get on the score sheet early in the first half, and NC State goalkeeper came up big time and time again. So it was one of those games where the score sheet probably didn't tell the true story of the actual game, and that's why I think that this is going to be a very important matchup in this first game today in the tournament. Lulu Gutenberger. Across for Tony Starova. Those are the two center backs for NC State. One from Germany, one from the Czech Republic. International influence in the collegiate game continues to grow. Schuster loses out. Ekic on the ball in a dangerous spot. Left-footed cross. Snatched out of the air by North Carolina State goalie Jessica Berlin. You can see early on Louisville's trying to put that pressure on. They're trying to get in front of NC State's goalie, trying to test her early on. I don't think NC State has gotten to the final third just yet in the opening minutes of this game. You know, it's been all Louisville on the offensive. Chrissy Schuster on the ball. Great foot skill for a defender. Tries a through ball here, nearly picked out Blackwood. Instead, cut out by the Louisville defense. Cardinals very strong at home this season. 8-2-1 record here at Lynn Stadium. Of course, one of those defeats coming to this Wolfpack squad. Joseph gets the touch, but she is offside. Louisville will clear their lines. Interesting season for Louisville. They got off to a great start, won their first seven games. And then, like a lot of teams, you get into ACC play, and the sledding gets a lot tougher. Talking to Coach uh, Ferguson Days yesterday, she didn't seem to think the performances had dipped, really just the results. Yeah, I know. Sometimes we all know this sport. It's just a, a matter of chances and how you take those chances. And after those games, they weren't, they weren't falling the way that she would want them. And uh, they, they picked it up towards the end of the season, started getting on the score sheet, started winning the games that they needed to win. Um, they're looking to continue that today. Nelson on the ball. She missed the game on Thursday between these two teams after serving a red card suspension. Kia Rankin. Inside for Paige Griffiths. Griffiths, one of a few seniors on this NC State squad. Very experienced team. Blackwood playing back to goal. Chance here for Louisville to break. Brooklyn Rivers. Rivers, one on one. Rivers onto her right foot. A hopeful ball into the area from. Corinne Dente. 
Trickles out of bounds. Goal kick coming up for NC State. As you mentioned, they didn't have Brooklyn Rivers in the last game that they played three days ago, so it's going to be really interesting to see how NC State is able to handle with her threat. She does have four goals this season, so she does know how to score, and she does know how to be imposing on the opposite side of the, the field. Mentioning our conversation with Karen Ferguson Days yesterday, she called the ACC, quote, ridiculous, said it's harder to win an ACC championship than an NCAA championship. And she also said when she's doing, you know, TV and radio here in the Louisville area, and they're, you know, they're trying to talk to that, that football crowd, she says being in the ACC is like a coach scheduling Alabama multiple times. That's how hard it is. Knows how to speak to her crowd around here, too. I, I agree with it. You know, obviously playing in the ACC myself, and you have, you're playing consistently against top-ranked teams every weekend, you know, so... Her analogy of saying that it's harder to win the ACC tournament than the NCAA, I, I'm, I'm, I'm backing her on that one. All right, latest coaches poll. We got four of the top 10 out of the ACC and six of the top 25 hail from the Atlantic Coast Conference. Ranking the big switch for Schuster. She's brought it down under considerable pressure. Back to Berlin, not messing around. Thumps it into the sun-soaked sky. North Carolina State, as you suggested, Gucci, direct early on here. First touch of the match for Louisville goalie Gabby Cazales, red shirt junior from Wadsworth, Ohio. Blackwood whistled for offside, checking back from an illegal position. Raven Alexander opens it up for Whitfield. Ahead for Rivers. Scoreless so far between the fifth seed NC State and fourth seed Louisville. On the line, a spot in the semifinals of the 2019 ACC Women's Soccer Championship. Both these programs kind of in the second tier of the conference, maybe just below the, the UNCs, the UVAs, the Florida States, the Dukes. You can get into that semifinal, now you're really rubbing shoulders with the elite. For sure, you know, the winner of this game plays the winner of Notre Dame, UNC, and that's no light task. But these teams have proven that the B, they can compete against anybody this season, as we have seen throughout the year, and NC State coming here three days ago and imposing upon the, the home side. So. This tournament's gonna, gonna be very exciting to watch. Jaden Thomas, the number 12 for NC State, opens it up for Schuster. She's found Ricky Walkling. Senior from Germany, plays the one-two with Joseph. But Sarah Hernandez, the number two for Louisville, clears the danger. Nelson, long ball looking for Ekic, it's a foot race. Lulu Gutenberger. Missed most of last year with injury, the number six for NC State. ACC All-Freshman team the season before that. Gutenberger's had some run with the under-17 German national team. Rivers and Gutenberger, one-on-one -on -one here. The German wins out. Schuster, clearance up the line, out of bounds for a throw, and as Louisville continues to turn up the pressure. It's going to be a good matchup with Gutenberger and, and Bro Brook and Rivers up top there. You know, they're both very physical, imposing players, but none of them are getting the other an inch to play. Nadege Lesperance opens it up to Allison Whitfield. She'll choose to go back now. Raven Alexander to Neve Nelson. Back to Sarah Hernandez. Five across the back for Louisville. L'Esperance, Whitfield, playing in that right wing back role. She lined up as a forward on Thursday night when these two teams met. 
called into duty to replace the injured Maisie Whitsett, sophomore who dislocated her kneecap in the game Thursday night. Reported that she's already riding a bike. She is out for today's match, but could return. And not the case for Louisville's midfielder, Callie McKinney, who unfortunately, the senior, tore her ACL against NC State on Thursday. And after starting all 17 games this season, her campaign has come to an end. Yeah, it's so sad with McKinney obviously being a senior, and that's not the way you wanted to end your college career. But, you know, sometimes that's the nature of the sport, and, you know, our thoughts are with her. Coach Ferguson Day is telling us that uh, Whitfield does have some experience at right back. She played there all summer long with her club team. So it shouldn't be too much of a transition for the Louisville number 23. So far, so good. She hasn't, she hasn't been challenged thus far, but she hasn't been uh, looking out of place in that position either. I think she's a versatile kind of player, jack of all trades. She kind of fit into any kind of role that, that she's called upon. So, you know, if there's any player on this team that can slide into a slot, I think it'd be her. Chrissy Schuster goes direct for Maxine Blackwood. Ball last touched by Louisville. Blackwood offers the hold-up play as the number nine. Trying to bring in Joseph and King. The two wide threats for the Wolfpack. Joseph on it now. Schuster, opportunity to cross. Ball touched out of bounds. Looks like it was Ariana Ferraro with the last touch, the senior for Louisville. So NC State then will have a corner kick here. Just about half an hour to go in the first half. Kazella setting up her defense in the Louisville penalty area. Walkling the service. Gutenberger high into the box. Loose ball. Offside flag up. Whistle blown. And Louisville will escape the danger at least momentarily. You see NC State always so direct and they're so physical. So those aerial balls are going to be a threat on the back line of Louisville if they don't watch out. But obviously you can't have the impact or contact with the goalkeeper and Kazella's got away from with that one. ACC Network, your home for fall sports championships with NCAA berths on the line. Women's soccer continues on ACC Network with the semifinals Friday, 2.30 and 5 o'clock in the afternoon, followed by the championship on ESPNU. That's Sunday at noon. Field hockey quarterfinals begin Thursday at noon on ACC Network with a champion crown Sunday at 11 o'clock. Nobody covers the ACC like we do. 2019 ACC Women's Soccer Championship. Only the top eight teams in this very competitive league make the tournament. For some squads, an accomplishment just to be here. In fact, NC State last year was good enough to make the Sweet 16 of the NCAA tournament, but not good enough to be a top eight team in the ACC. That's how good this league is. That, that's, that's the strength of this league. I mean, in comparison to all the other conferences, you don't have as many top teams playing week in and week out to compete for a top spot in this conference. And, and as you said, you know, winning a Sweet 16 spot but not being able to be top ranked in your, in your conference kind of speaks on its own. Rankin to put the ball back in play. Senior from Bowie, Maryland. Starova. Driven ball at Nelson. Big collision just on the North Carolina State side of midfield. And Louisville have a chance here for a free kick. Free kick. Neve Nelson to put it in play. Louisville number eight. 
High arcing ball into the penalty area. Headed down. Shot just past the far post. As Louisville goes knocking. First good opportunity of the match falls to the Cardinals. Yeah, you see this long ball. They struggle to clear it wide, and all you need is an inch with, with this striker, Ekic, and she's going to put danger behind you. Fortunate for NC State, it just went wide, but you see her, her ability to create space when there is no space and create chances when otherwise there wouldn't have been either. Ekic, second team, All-American last year, All-ACC as well. One of the jewels of this conference. One of those rare players who can both score and create for others. NC State. Building through some possession. Rankin with the touch. But first, a whistle from our center referee, Nick Balser in charge of today's proceedings. Kia Rankin, a business administration major. Senior with a goal and an assist so far on the season. Versatile defender for North Carolina State. Walkling to Schuster. Again, the German connection for NC State. Walkling triple teamed. Fancy footwork, scoops it ahead for Joseph. Nelson there, savvy play at the end line to win the goal kick. You see in this game right now, Joseph just hasn't been able to get involved as she was a couple days ago. You know, they're trying to find her, but Louisville's doing a great job at containing her. You see the step over right here from walking, trying to find Joseph, but just not good enough to get there, and they protect it out of bounds. 25 minutes to go in the first half between Louisville and North Carolina State. Both these teams trying to get to the conference semifinals. Now join Florida State. Just finished off a 2-1 victory over Clemson. Florida State Clemson, a uh, matchup of two nationally ranked teams, as you see so often in the ACC. Gutenberg heads away. Starova, only half cleared. She'll get it again on the bounce. Starova's been capped already 10 times by the senior national team of the Czech Republic. She and Gutenberger forming a dynamic duo in the center of this Wolf Pack defense. Corinne Dente, the number 12 for Louisville. The fancy flick, able to win a throw in. Cardinals quickly back in play. Whitfield thought about a cross, now drives to the end line. Thought she'd won the corner kick instead, goal kick for NC State. NC State is having a lot of trouble getting out of their defensive third. Louisville's putting a lot of pressure on them. I'm sure they're trying to get on the score sheet early, definitely before halftime, and they're putting that press on. And right now, NC State does not have answers to the offense of Louisville. Not all that different from the first half on Thursday, Gooch. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. That's how the sport goes. You can have all the chances in the world, but if you don't put it in the back of the net, it doesn't really matter. NC State in the one nothing win on Thursday. As substitute Anna Tuhi came on, the sophomore from Winston-Salem, North Carolina, to get her first goal of the season. And what an important strike it was. That victory clinching NC State's spot in this postseason tournament. Good battle on the near sideline between Rivers and Schuster. Ariana Ferraro, Louisville number six. Consistent starter for this Cardinals squad. 
Ferraro started every game last year, missed just one start this season. Operates in that left wing back spot. Senior from New Jersey. Louisville dominating possession as the trains make their way around Lynn Stadium. Not far from the airport. In the pregame, we had at least two or three airplanes fly what felt like right above us. Seems like we got everything, planes, trains, and automobiles around yeah. here. Busy place. Rivers on the run. Gutenberger plays it safe, only as far as Ferraro. Rivers back to goal. Nadej L'Esperance, number three for Louisville. Poked away. Jaden Thomas holding midfield. Ferenci stayed on the ball. Back for Starova. Gutenberger and now Schuster. NC State starting to ping it around the pitch. Can they make something of it? Joseph in trouble. Wolfpack managed to keep the ball. Walkling the missed touch. It's interesting this game that King, you don't find her so far up on the field as she was about a few days ago. She's playing more of a, a deeper role at times instead of playing in the center of the field where you found her getting be most dangerous against them on Thursday. 20 minutes to go in the first half. Still scoreless. Elimination soccer here. Although the losing side will have a pretty good claim at an NCAA tournament spot. No guarantees. Nice turn from Rivers. Whitfield running at the NC State defense. Drops it back. Ekic. Checking deep. Ekic on the ball. The number 10 onto her right foot. Misfires on the pass. NC State, chance to counter through Joseph. And here comes the number 15. Dancing past defenders. You see the strength of this freshman in Joseph just holding Ferreira off the ball and ultimately pushing her to the ground while still keeping possession. You know, this young, young player has a lot of talent at such a young age. Hernandez wide. Raven Alexander. Whitfield unable to keep it in. The college basketball season tips off Tuesday, and we'll have a doubleheader for you. Number five, Louisville takes on Miami at 6.30 Hold Eastern. Holding the player off, you know, she just still keeps possession while going toe-to-toe. -to -toe. It's almost like she's a football player and holding the receiver off the ball while she's keeping the ball. Incredible strength. Leah Hall Robinson checking into the match for Louisville. She replaces Maxine Blackwood. Jessica DeFilippo enters for University of Louisville. She replaces Corinne Dente. Karen Ferguson days, 20th season in charge of this Louisville program. Quite a player in her own right. A three-time All-American at UConn. Played for the U.S. Women's National Team for a brief stint in the early 90s as well. Just into the match, Hall Robinson. Wearing the number four. She's taken Joseph's spot out here on the right wing. Joseph moving over to the left. And King has now 
taking over the central striker position, so a readjustment up top for North Carolina State. I think they're more comfortable in this position. I think King is more effective in the central role, especially going after this Louisville defense that she had so much success on it just a few days ago. So I think that was a great transition and a great change by the coach. Rankin looking for the through ball, clipped out by Hernandez. Now for Taylor Kerwin. Kerwin getting the start in place of Callie McKinney, injured on Thursday night. Gutenberger finds King. And you already see the magic from the number two. Ahead for Hall Robinson. Schuster. Hall Robinson thinking about an overlap. The idea there, the execution, not quite. Yeah, NC State, they just haven't been connecting their passes. I don't know if each player is on the same wavelength. They're, they're, they're not reading each other properly. Balls are going out of bounds. You know, they're, just, they're not seeing the runs. I don't think it's clicking for them this, this first half just yet. Ziara King, the player to watch. The number two, 12 goals, six assists already this season. Can she add to it? At the most critical time, Schuster down the right flank. Schuster the cross to the back post. Headed away by Whitfield, only to the edge of the area. Joseph had a crack at it, but Whitfield beat her to it. Now Joseph on the ball. Jamise Joseph, the young freshman. Ever so dangerous from Beltsville, Maryland. Three goals, three assists already this season. Rankin. Long touch. She does manage to keep possession. NC State becoming more and more dangerous as this first half wears on. King missed the pass to Walkling. Louisville on the counter. Amina Ekic on the counter. Here comes the number 10 for Louisville. Squaring up. Two on four against the NC State defense. She's found Rivers. Rivers into the box. Rivers on her left foot. Gutenberger the block. Corner kick for Louisville. And right there, you see how dangerous those two players can be. Ekic just taking about three to four players on down the middle of the, of the field before she lays it off to Rivers, who uses her strength, her size, and her speed to get that corner kick. Allison Whitfield will offer up the service. She's a Louisville soccer family lifer. Sister Casey played soccer at Louisville. Father Glenn did as well. Here's her corner kick. Takes a deflection off the crossbar. Steered away by Starova. How that didn't go in, we'll never know. Wow, talk about opportunities gone, gone bad. It's looking like a repeat of the game three days ago where they had the chances and it just couldn't find the back of the net. North Carolina State can breathe a big sigh of relief. Beautifully whipped in ball by Whitfield, caused all sorts of trouble. And by the narrowest of margins, the Cardinals don't have the lead. Nelson. To Filippo, providing pressure. Starova now. Rankin. Still relatively few touches for the NC State forward line. Wolfpack so dangerous in transition. Louisville's limited them so far. See the corner kick that NC State just can't get away and almost the own goal, but it hits off the crossbar, luckily for them. Another day that could have been a penalty even, hitting the arm of the player right there. Yeah, that's Rankin in there. If they had VAR, maybe that's, mm -hmm. a, that's another well, decision right there. 
If somebody had gotten a better look at it live, they may have been a bit more demanding of the center ref. Quick play, though. Here's a closer look at it. Gooch, what do you think? I mean, it's it's out there, isn't it? I'm, I'm a defender. Oh, yeah, you are. So yeah, I'm going to say that's not a penalty. Uh -huh. But as an offensive player, I would say mm -hmm. that's a penalty all okay. day. I think you have a case. I think you have a case. L'Esperance on the ball. Loses out to Griffiths. Whitfield and Alexander doing an excellent job double teaming Joseph. And Louisville again having no trouble winning the ball back. Question is can they penetrate against this stout NC State defense? Walkling back to goal. Schuster. Wanted Hall Robinson. Ball fell to King momentarily. But possession really eluding NC State as we grind towards the end of the first half. Rivers now with some space in front of her. Running at the North Carolina State defense. Rivers had Ekic missed the pass. Wolfpack now with a response. Hall Robinson. Schuster. Schuster running out of options on the near sideline. Louisville takes over. You see the frustration on all the players at NC State. They just can't seem to connect the passes in the final third and just get out of this high pressure that Louisville is putting on them. And Louisville on the other side, they're just inviting NC State to hit those direct long balls while they get regain possession and restart their attack. Nelson's deep ball knocked out of play by Schuster. Nelson, interesting player, has represented Ireland at the under-19 national team level. Been a career starter here with Louisville. Nelson, one of the players Karen Ferguson Days did not have at her disposal when these two teams met Thursday night. Deep cross for Louisville. Into the waiting arms of Jessica Berlin, the junior from Burke, Virginia. The goalkeeper for NC State Berlin has had a busy day in, in, in regards to the Louisville's goalkeeper. She's had to come up with a number of saves as well as coming out for crosses uh, that they've been facing this, these dangers from the Louisville's offensive threats. Hernandez. Nelson able to keep it in. Hernandez here effectively operating as a sweeper, but she's got two goals this season. And even if you look back at last season, she's got a penchant for big goals. Remember that about Louisville's number two. DiFilippo back to goal, turns it over. Another turnover gives it right back to the Cardinals. L'Esperance. And Griffiths locked in a one-on-one -on -one battle, and Griffiths wins it. She tears down the far flank. Now King squaring up against the Louisville defense. King looking for goal number 13 on the season. Wide for Joseph. Joseph, double dream. Running out of space, she goes back for Rankin. NC State pumping the brakes on this attack. All the way back to Starova. Schuster. Debuted for Bayern Munich's senior team when she was just 17, Schuster. 
in a match against PSG. Talk about getting good competition at an early age. Wow. Wow. Gutenberger. Hall Robinson wins this battle. King, well held up. Just misses Griffiths, but the number 21 will chase it down. Can the Wolfpack muster something here? Joseph on it. Now for Rankin. Joseph in behind. Big challenge from Raven Alexander. It'll be last touched by Joseph. And a foul called before that. Louisville going the other way. Reminder, Wednesday night we'll have another big-time college basketball doubleheader for you. We start at the Dean Smith Center for Notre Dame and number 9 North Carolina at 7 p.m. Eastern. And then we'll take you to the Carrier Dome for Syracuse. They're hosting the defending national champions, number 11 Virginia. Both games right here on the ACC Network and, of course, the ESPN app. Both teams preparing substitutions here with just about six and a half minutes to go in the first half. Amina Ekic, the number 10 for Louisville, will check out of the match. She'll be replaced by Delaney Snyder, a sophomore from Moon Township, Pennsylvania, with plenty of goals off the bench. And then NC State brings on the player who scored the game winner on Thursday night. That's Anna Tuhi. She replaces Jamise Joseph. I think both those substitutes are trying to get them to have a little rest before the second half and have fresh fresh legs going into the second second half of this play. And you see Joseph wasn't able to have the impact in the game as she has in recent matches and maybe she just needs a breather and come back fresh in the second period. There's Joseph on the bench. Really none of the attacking players we thought would stand out today have. I don't know that that's necessarily a Fault of theirs, that or could, just could you know, be tactics. To the defense could be tactics. The the coaches are, are definitely they they have that role for a reason, and mm -hmm. and basically the the back line of, of Louisville have done a great job at containing King and Joseph this whole first half, and you know they they saw a little bit of what they can do three days ago, so they there there's no surprises today. Yeah, King and Joseph have been quiet. I, I'd give NC State credit too. We haven't really heard. A whole lot from Ekic. Yeah, Ekic has been quiet. She's had a couple chances here and there, but she hasn't been as influential as, as she has in, in, in recent matches. But, you know, it's a 90-minute game, and you can't judge the whole game on the first 45 minutes. So let's wait for the second half. Rivers, she doesn't want to wait for the second half. Trying to dance past Schuster. Well cut out by the German defender. We spoke with both coaches yesterday and asked about the dynamic of playing somebody 72 hours after you just played them. Neither really seemed too bothered or interested in They both said, yeah, we'll, we'll both be really, really well prepared. Yeah, and maybe that's what we're seeing with, with this kind of defensive match so far. Neither coach was, was frazzled by the fact that they have to play the other team just three days ago. But, you know, I don't think the players are either. I think Louisville definitely are licking their wounds from three days ago then they're coming out today to prove a point i think they've been on the m most offensive foot nc state hasn't seen the final third as much as louisville uh their direct play has been neutralized more so in this first half so right now i think it's just a, a game of patience and see who's going to take their chance gutenberger doesn't have the luxury of patience as she's forced to clear it out of bounds Louisville with a throw deep in North Carolina State Territory. King with some time and space in front of her. A rarity for the North Carolina State playmaker so far this afternoon. Ahead for Hall Robinson. Who's going to get there first? Nelson and Hall Robinson duking it out in the corner. And Hall Robinson's won a corner kick. Now, when these two teams played Thursday, it was a very similar first half. And at the very end of the first half, what happened? Against the run of play, 
North Carolina State grabbed the goal, and they grabbed it from their number 23, Anna Tuhi. She's on the field right now. In fact, she's coming over to take the corner kick for the Wolfpack. Yeah, I'm sure Louisville not wanting to see another replay of the game three days ago and concede so late in the first half. Walking the shot near post and just, and I mean just, on the wrong side of the netting. You see, you see King just to lay off the strength and just wide on the shot. But that's how, that's how important it is to close out these games. You only have two minutes left, a little over two minutes in the first half. You do not want to concede this late in the game and have a replay of what happened three days ago. Walkling for Rankin. As we approach the two-minute mark, fifth seed North Carolina State zero. Fourth seed, Louisville, zero. On the line, a spot in the semifinals at the 2019 ACC Women's Soccer Championship. Semifinals will be next Friday, Cary, North Carolina. Championship game Sunday in Cary. As we mentioned, this is the second of four quarterfinals, the first earlier this afternoon, Florida State beating Clemson 2-1. to one. Just about a minute left. Time enough for one last chance, or will both teams be content? to head to the locker room in a stalemate. Ferraro surging forward from her left back spot. Trying to get around Schuster, but look at this battle. Not gonna happen, Schuster wins out. Goal kick for NC State. Well, Ferraro thought she had her on the corner, but Schuster with her strength just holds her off like it's nothing, like, please, don't come at me. I'm closing this half out without getting the score. She's a good defender. She's also a pretty good attacking player. She had a Sports Center top 10 goal last August. So if you're in the mood for the spectacular, keep an eye on number three. She may well provide it. Seconds left in the first half. More of the possession for the Cardinals in this opening 45 minutes, but nothing to show for it. And with 45 minutes down, we have no separation between North Carolina State and Louisville. Scoreless here at Lynn Stadium on the campus of the University of Louisville. Right now, let's call on what we'll say is the third member of our broadcast crew, Louisville coach Karen Ferguson Day standing by. Coach, what'd you make of that first half? There we go. Oh. Yeah, Coach, uh, what'd you make of that I first half? It. Hey, Coach Sebastian up here in the uh, booth. How'd you, what'd you think of that first half? Yeah. I heard him for a second. Coach Sebastian now. Salazar up here in the booth. All right, we're having some technical difficulties then with the interview with Karen Ferguson Days. Instead, we'll go to break. North Carolina State 0, Louisville 0. Halftime, quarterfinals of the 2019 ACC Women's Soccer Championship. We're back to Louisville in a moment. There she is, Ziara King, 12 goals so far this season. A 13th could be the difference between North Carolina State advancing or not. Her counterpart, the attacking talisman for Louisville, Amina Ekic, the junior, 
second team All-American a year ago. She's uh, eight goals, seven assists so far this season. And after a quiet first half, she's looking for much more here in the second 45. King a combined 18 goals and assists this season. 15 combined goals and assists for the junior Amina Akic. Two stars, two teams vying for a spot in the ACC semifinals. NC State has been to the semifinal round of this tournament just once. Just once, Aguchi, since 1996. This is, this is a big, big deal for them, obviously. This is going to be a big game, a big deal. They have a great team, and they're honestly, they're able to come up victorious, but it's going to be a question of if they're going to take their chances and deliver. Louisville just joined the conference in 2014, have never advanced past the first round of the ACC tournament. Chance at significant history for both of these programs over the next 45 minutes. Your rank in the head for King. Jolene Ballard wearing number 22 for Louisville. One of the changes made at the half by Karen Ferguson Days. Walkling, German midfielder. Advancing the ball deep into Louisville territory. North Carolina start looking for a bright beginning here in the second half. King on the left flank now. We've seen her deployed all across this Wolfpack front line. Ball driven to the far post, off the far post. Gonna be tucked in here, Jamise Joseph, but the offside flag up first. Well, I know Louisville's happy for that linesman on the far side right there. That could have been a terrible begin. You see the cross right here, and she's trying to sneak behind the defense. Unfortunately, she was two steps in front of them, and fortunate for Louisville, she was, because that would have been a disastrous beginning to this second half. Whistle in the middle of the park. Today's center ref, Nick Balser. Got a good day weather-wise. 55 degrees and sunny here this afternoon in Louisville. Market difference from the weather when these two teams met on Thursday. It was cold, it was windy, had a big impact on the match. If you watch that broadcast, the goal kicks were hardly getting outside the penalty area, just hanging up there in the wind. Yeah, and that, that first game, the balls were, were looking like kites, mm -hmm. just hanging up there. You're trying to get it upfield, and it's just getting caught in there and dropping right back down. And, Fortunate for them this game around, they don't have to have the elements as much of an impact, and they can just play soccer. Nelson for Alexander, back to Hernandez. Those are your three center backs. This Cardinal squad. Whitfield, the number 23. An option down the flank. Here she's on it. Woodfield and Alexander, 1-2, looking for Brooklyn Rivers. Rivers with the nice pressure, able to stop the clearance from Starova. Brooklyn Rivers, she offers something that the other players on Louisville don't offer. She has that hold-up play, you know. She's not the technical... Uh, uh, Ekic style of player, but she allows the team to come up the field, holds the ball, and lays it off to the team and let them get in position. Rivers' third team all ACC a year ago. Got four goals already to her credit so far this season. Can she add another? Ferraro and Joseph going at it on the far sideline. A little too much from Joseph. You see the frustration for Ferraro screaming at her own teammate right there for support or talking or, or something. The frustration's kicking in to all of them. They, they just played three days ago, quick turnaround, playing the same team. 
It's a physical game. You mentioned the quick turnaround. North Carolina State actually stayed in Louisville for the last five days, settled into a nice routine in their hotel. They had study hall, some cryotherapy, some massage, video work as well. So they've been living the pseudo-professional life at away, least for a week. Away from classes. Uh -huh. I'm sure they're, they'll welcome that any day of the week. I always wonder if student athletes actually appreciate being away from class because when you get back, the amount of work. It's a double-edged sword. Mm -hmm. Ekic, nice turn. Looking for that through ball. As she always is, the Louisville number 10. This time, the North Carolina State defense up to it. And Eve Nelson leading a quick response from Louisville. Throw in coming for the Cardinals. Shoelace down. Ferraro, the captain for Louisville. You heard Coach Santoro. He wasn't really enthusiastic nor happy about their performance in the first half. And he does acknowledge that they were a little slow mm -hmm. to get get started and I wonder what he said to them in the locker room in order to to motivate them to wake them up to pump them for this second half of play Rankin cuts it out King back to goal look how far King has come back just to try and get touches on the ball Starova heads away. Walkling now. NC State under pressure. Cheeky touch with the outside of the foot from Walkling. Intercepted by Alexander. Here comes Louisville. Dente. Wanted Rivers. Didn't miss fire on the pass, but perhaps mistimed it. I don't think Dente realized how much time and space she had to advance. She could have taken that shot all by herself. Ball driven to Blackwood. She's done well to knock it down. King and Whitfield. Rankin now, senior from Bowie, Maryland. King turning towards the middle. Opens it up for Schuster. Senior from Germany. Gets it back from Joseph. Returns the favor. Joseph cuts it back. Schuster on the ball. Nelson, class play in defense. Only a half clearance though. NC State still with possession. Gutenberger ahead to Rankin. Rankin, good first touch. Gets in behind. Bodies go down in the box. Corner kick, says the referee. Big collision between Rankin and Whitfield. No penalty. Instead, we got a corner kick coming. You see Rankin gets in behind Whitfield and stays strong, stays on her foot. And Whitfield goes down another game that could have been a penalty had Rankin tripped over Whitfield. I think if Rankin goes down there, there's at least a decision 100%. to be made for Nick Bowser, the center referee. 100%. Lulu Gutenberger, redshirt sophomore from Germany. Well-driven ball, and this one's in the back of the net. No! from nothing, have taken the lead. And we said how important set pieces were gonna be in this game. You see Rankin allowed the play to win the corner kick, and as they deliver it here, the goal kicker comes out, and I think it's an own goal, actually. That's Neve Nelson, the senior from San Diego, California. And it takes an unfortunate deflection off her head into the net. And in the 54th minute, 
NC State have jumped ahead. This is much like their, their game three days ago. Louisville had the offensive numbers, the chances, and then NC State came out of nowhere to get a goal and go up in the game. And right there from nothing, you have a free kick and an own goal. Missed clearance allows the opposing team to come up 1-0. Dente, pass cut out by King, Ziara King. They call her Z, up ahead to Joseph. Joseph just on the wrong side of the last defender. Offside flag goes up. Nelson missed the last game, serving a red card suspension. Back in the lineup today. Played well so far, but the unfortunate victim of an own goal. Louisville looking for a response. Dente not going to get there. Schuster. Jaden Thomas. Nice touch ahead for Griffiths. She's got some space. Ferraro intercepts. Nelson to launch the Cardinals attack. Cazellas. Awkward clearance with her left foot. Ball stays in play. Joseph had it for a minute, only to lose out. Brooklyn Rivers. Rivers, great use of her body. Well held up. Louisville maintaining possession. Ekic with Whitfield on the overlap. The number 10 on that silky smooth left foot. Wanted Rivers. Gutenberger read it well. Gutenberger slips as she tried for the long ball. Intercepted by Ferraro. Raven Alexander. Ekic. Louisville building rhythm. Yeah, Louisville's going to have to look more direct, more forward if, she, if they want to get back into this game. And they're going to need Ekic to get on the ball in a more offensive position to cause threats. Whitfield into the box. Whitfield across. Starova blocks it away. Maxime Blackwood. Wanted a foul call, won't get it. Here comes Raven Alexander. Alexander, pass King, she goes down. Foul called. Big collision outside the box and a very, very dangerous set piece coming for Louisville. We spoke a little bit about King, how deep she has, to, has been coming. Look how far back she's defending to prevent Louisville from, from an offensive occasion. You know, this is the person that you want up the field on the other side of the field scoring goals for you, not on the defensive third six, defending. Six players in the box for Louisville. A seventh lurking just outside the penalty area. Amina Akic drives it towards goal, headed, not cleared. Ball bounces up in the air. And out of bounds for a goal kick last touched by Louisville. Good free kick from Ekic. The header misdirects it. Bobble in the box. And the referee had the right call to call the goal kick right there. Right now, Louisville's going to have to play with some urgency. They have a little over 31 minutes left in this second half to get back on the score sheet and try to rectify this 1-0 deficit and get back into this game. Speaking of which, the Cardinals preparing a substitute on this near sideline. It looks like the number nine, Anna Henderson, is getting ready to come on. 
Corinne Dente, the number 12, the player we're told will be coming off. North Carolina State also preparing some substitutions. Anna Tuhi, the goal scorer when these two teams met on Thursday, and Leah Hall Robinson. A couple underclassmen getting ready to enter the game for the Wolfpack. Rivers, one on one with Gutenberger. Rivers into the box. Rivers on her right foot. And Gutenberger and Schuster combining for a critically timed challenge. Sun glaring right into the eyes of Jessica Berlin, the North Carolina State goalie. She's tasked with keeping this out. Well-driven ball. Berlin through her hands. Joseph the clearance. Nelson. Onto her left foot. Rivers, good first touch, walking away. Alexander, Joseph. Loose ball finds its way to Ekic. Ekic and Rankin, one on one. Ekic into the corner, two on one now. She's double teamed. Joseph applying the pressure. Ekic does manage to win the throw. Come a trio of substitutions, two for North Carolina State, one for Louisville. Jamise Joseph and Maxine Blackwood, the two players who will head off for North Carolina State. Yeah, Joseph just, in, just hasn't seemed to find her rhythm in this game as she did three days ago. She's been neutralized on the offense. She's been frustrated. She hasn't been able to have good looks on goal. You know, I think this this is a good substitution uh, for NC State to try and find fresh blood to kind of change the pace of this game. Louisville working against the clock. Still got half an hour to do something about the scoreboard. Rankin to nobody in particular. Perhaps just giving her team a moment to breathe as Louisville turns up the pressure here in the second half. Quarterfinals of the 2019 ACC Women's Soccer Championship. This is the 4-5 matchup. Two teams could hardly be separated throughout an entire season in the table. And through about an hour of play here in Louisville, an own goal, the only difference between the Wolfpack and the Cardinals. Schuster, clever ball ahead for Hall Robinson. Nelson going all the way back to Cazellas. Struck it well, but out of bounds. ACC Network is your home for fall sports championships with NCAA berths on the line. Women's soccer continues on the ACC Network the semifinals are on Friday, 2.30 and 5, followed by the championship on ESPNU Sunday at noon. Field hockey quarterfinals begin Thursday at noon on the ACC Network with a champion crowned on Sunday at 11. Nobody covers the ACC like we do. Gutenberger, Starova. Pretty serious international experience in the middle of this Wolf Pack defense. Gutenberger has played with Germany's youth national teams. Starova has already played with the senior national team of the Czech Republic. Ten caps to her credit for the number 14. She's on the ball now. Anna Tuhi got a goal in this fixture Thursday night. As you said, this NC State, NC State team has a lot of players with a lot of experience. They've played in big games before. They know the pressure. They know how to deal with the pressure and come off on top. And you see right here, they're playing away from home in a matter of three-day turnaround. And again, 
they're on top playing away against a strong team in Louisville. Tim Santor has got four seniors in his starting 11 today, eight upperclassmen. He told us yesterday, specifically speaking about that senior group, he said having them was an advantage in a game like this. Let's see if that seniority helps the Wolfpack close this out. Punch a ticket to what would be just their second conference semifinal appearance since 1996. And you would have been a freshman <laughs> at Sherwood High School, huh? Many, many moons ago. Many moons ago. None of these ladies. Uh, I don't think they were born yet. Were you born or knew what a soccer ball was? Uh, I'll tell you what, I, I mentioned Sherwood, uh, not just to pat you on the back, but also there's a lot of players from the DMV on, on both of these two teams. Um, I don't want to brag, but, you know, the DMV do uh, create stars. I mean, you would know yourself, mm -hmm. huh? Well, <laughs> stars is a relative term, but yes. Uh, especially this North Carolina State team. Uh, Joseph played for Bethesda Soccer Club, a club that you and I both know pretty well. Mm -hmm. Rankins from Bowie, Maryland. Jolene Ballard out of the match. Delaney Snyder in for Louisville as they continue to look for offensive firepower off the bench. Snyder, she's got it. Four goals and one assist so far this season for the sophomore from Moon Township, Pennsylvania. She wears the number 24 for the Cardinals. Here she is already causing trouble, forcing a desperate clearance from Starova. Starova, no surprise here, goes direct for Walkling. Griffiths and Walkling combining. Win the ball for NC State. Tui back for Rankin. Rankin under pressure. And here comes that Louisville press. You use the word urgency, Aguchi. Desperation starting to settle in. Yeah, I know. With Right now with 24 minutes left in the game, they're going to have to play with desperation. They're going to have to play with urgency. They don't have the luxury of just playing to the time clock of letting it go down, you know. Otherwise, this is the end of their ACC tournament right here. Berlin gathering with confidence off the high cross from Whitfield. Nelson. NC State really starting to drop off. You can see it from our vantage point in their setup. Hoping to spring for a counter and perhaps a second goal. Hall Robinson looking for some help. She's found it in Griffiths. Griffiths a shot blocked away. Griffiths again. And Nelson comes away with the ball. Louisville chance to counter. Ekish slips. Thomas Tatuhi. Rankin wanted a through ball for King. The North Carolina State number two not giving chase. Just about the midway point of the second half. Louisville coming to life. Rivers. Ambitious effort from that distance. Not enough to beat Berlin. Now Rivers got found on her weak foot, and she wasn't able to get enough power behind that shot. And right now you can see they're just trying to take any kind of opportunity to get behind the score sheet right now. And thus far they haven't had too many shots on target or on goal. And they're just trying to test their luck right now and test the goalkeeper on the other side. Whitfield, the senior, unable to keep that ball in bounds. King, one on three. Rivers intercepts. She's fouled from behind by Rankin. Karen Ferguson days. Growing look of concern for the experienced coach. 
Her team running out of time here at home, trailing to North Carolina State, the quarterfinal round of the 2019 ACC Women's Soccer Championships. This is the second of four quarterfinals. Full day of action for you here on the ACC Network. And I don't know what other sports you follow, but if you think the ACC is good at those sports, you have not watched women's soccer. Because the Atlantic Coast Conference, frankly, dominates this sport. Four teams in the top 10 nationally, six in the top 25. Louisville's one of them, the 14th ranked Cardinals coming for it here. But Brooklyn Rivers, again on her left foot, unable to beat Berlin. Almost identical kind of shot to what she did a few minute, moments ago. Doesn't have the strength behind the shot, but she's, she's able to turn right here. Turns her defender and gets the shot across. She's so good at turning people, but if she can get on her strong foot, maybe she'll have a better opportunity and chance to get a goal. North Carolina State, one goal away here from what would feel very much like a knockout punch. King looked for the through ball. It's deflected out of bounds for a corner kick. The Wolfpack are readying a sub. It looks like it'll be Maxine Blackwood to come on. It will be Blackwood, and she will indeed replace Ziara King. So the player they call Z comes off with 20 minutes to go. If you're Louisville, at least for now, you can breathe a little bit easier. Corner kick, well held. Excellent work by Gabby Cazellas. Comes off her line and in heavy traffic, holds on to the ball. Yeah, she's such a strong goalkeeper and you can see her, her authority as she demands the ball out of the air in that occasion right there. 12 wins last year for Cazellas, seven shutouts. A season ago, five foot seven goalie has had some run with the under 18 U.S. Women's National Team. Quite the pedigree for the Louisville backstop. Walkling, looking for help, finds it in the form of her compatriot Schuster. Ball laid off, Schuster the chance! And she sails it over the bar. North Carolina State with a chance to double their lead. You see Coach Santora speaking to his star players right there, King and Joseph on the sideline, probably directing them, giving them information as to what he wants to see if they go back into this game and how, how they're going to have an effect on the end of this game. Jessica DeFilippo back into the game for Louisville. She replaces Anna Henderson. Awkward bounce falls for NC State. Though Raven Alexander with some great hustle able to win the ball back. Nelson. Long ball in search of Delaney Snyder. It was Gutenberger there to defend. Whitfield. One time cross and she'll want that one back. The college basketball season tips off Tuesday and we'll have a double header for you. Number five Louisville takes on Miami at 6.30 p.m. Eastern. Then NC State hosts Georgia Tech in Raleigh. Both games right here on the ACC Network and of course available on the ESPN app. Whitfield, usually a forward, has put in a shift today at right wing back. Louisville limited due to some key injuries suffered in Thursday night's round one between these two sides. Callie McKinney, Maisie Whitset, both injured in that match. Forcing some adjustments. From Karen Ferguson days. One of them was to put Whitfield down the right flank, and here she is. Amina Ekic, oh, what a turn. Ekic, here she comes. Ekic! Poked away. The North Carolina State defense holds strong yet again. 
And now Hall Robinson wheeling and dealing. She turns out of trouble. Hall Robinson pulling away from her defender. Blackwood, the cross. Walkling! Oh, saved off the line! What a save. Holy mackerel! Louisville still alive, just barely. Here comes Eckett. We're going end to end. The number 10, streaking at the Wolfpack. Filippo cross to the back post. Rivers there, but she can't apply the touch. You see the cross sneaking in on the back post, Walkling, and just right there, cleared off the line. That's a defender that does not quit till the end. That could have easily been the nail on the coffin in a 2-0 end of game. Sarah Hernandez, the sophomore from Moore Park, California. Told you earlier in this game, despite being a defender, she has a penchant for the big goal. She's got a penchant for the big save as well. Karen Ferguson Days has to be wondering, what's it gonna take? What's it gonna take to finally get a goal past this stout NC State side? It's almost as if they have an invisible wall in front of their goal that Louisville's not able to penetrate, get around, get a shot on, get close to Berlin. Hekic with a beautiful touch, but credit to Rankin, who is right there, always ready for the fight, and manages to scrap it away. You hear the whistles of the train in the background. Plenty of movement on the field as well. Louisville looking for an equalizer. Rivers, low cross. Gutenberger, second chance at the clear, and she does well. Hernandez may have just saved the game for Louisville. Beautiful pass for Whitfield. Louisville now becoming more and more direct. Under 15 minutes to play in this game. Can NC State hang on? Both programs looking for a statement win. And for each, a victory here would certainly qualify. Ferraro up ahead for Snyder. Gutenberger challenged, but not defeated. Lone goal in this one. Coming in the 54th minute. An old goal from Louisville's Neve Nelson. Now you see the desire of Louisville. They see the game slipping through their hands slowly as the clock ticks down. Now they're pushing in their final third. You see a lot of the activity in this game now in the defensive final third of NC State as Louisville's trying to push to equalize this game at 1-1. Beautiful facility here at uh, Louisville, the Dr. Mark and Cindy Lynn Stadium. It opened in 2014, about a $20 million budget. Gooch, does it remind you of any other stadiums? Because it was modeled after an MLS stadium. That's what I'm setting you up for. Ooh, I'm going to guess uh, Kansas City. Yeah, which is everybody models their park after oh, Kansas City, right? That there it was. It was actually modeled after Sporting Park. Well done. I win. Carolina State looking to take some of the air out of the ball. Starova under pressure, may have turned it over. In fact, she has. Hekich. Snyder. Big challenge from DeFilippo. We're gonna get a couple subs for North Carolina State. Joseph and King back into the match. 
Yeah, you see the the heavy hitters coming back on the field to close this game out. I know Coach Santoro wants his big players on this field. He doesn't want to take any risks. He got them to rest. Now he wants them to go after the tired Louisville defense. Jaden Thomas, Anna Tuhi, the players that have come off for Tim Santoro in his seventh season in charge of North Carolina State. It's a program that really had a breakthrough in 2016 when they got to the tournament for the first time in 20 years. And they've been back to the NCAA tournament each of the three years since. Paul Robinson, Alexander. Look at Alexander. Slicing past three defenders. Can she make it four? Going right at Rankin. Yes, she's into the box. Challenge. Benad, Benad, Benad. Penalty. Louisville is going to the spot. What an individual effort from Raven Alexander as she took not one, not two, but three players. You see her fight to win this ball. Chops the def defender right there. Just keeps on going. She sees an opportunity, takes a one-on-one, -on -one, cuts the corner, and gets taken down for the penalty. It'll be Brooklyn Rivers, the senior. Rivers! No! And just like that, we're level at one. Brooklyn Rivers, calm, cool, and collected, slots it to the right side of the goalkeeper for the 1-1 one -one tie. This is the boost that Louisville needed. They were knocking at the door for the last 10 minutes, and they finally got the reward. The senior from Fort Thomas, Kentucky, gets her fifth of the season. And Brooklyn Rivers has equalized for the Cardinals. Here we go then, a tense 10 minutes and potentially more left here in Louisville. We must have a winner. Someone must punch that ticket to the semifinal round. Ziara King, Ziara King the shot, whistles it wide. North Carolina State offering up a quick response. And if you're Louisville, that is the one player you do not want to see on the ball in the 18. You do not want to see King turn and face goal with a shot. And you're right, she got that brief rest. So now you're looking at a well-rested King and a well-rested Joseph that have just come on for NC State. Walkling wins the header. Rivers and Joseph locking horns on the midfield stripe. De Filippo, the chip! Oh, she wanted it, and she might have had it. The freshman trying to chip the goalkeeper off her line. The vision to even see that was incredible. Nadege Les Bronze checking into the match for Louisville. She replaces Delaney Snyder. Les Bronze started the match in the center of the park for Louisville. She wears the number three for the Cardinals. Les Bronze has played in an under 17 World Cup for Canada, also been a member of the under 20 Canadian women's national team. Berlin drives her goal kick towards midfield. Under 10 minutes left. Between the fifth seeded North Carolina State Wolfpack and the four seed Louisville Cardinals. Scoreless at the half. We've seen a couple goals already here in the second. An own goal from Louisville's Neve Nelson gave North Carolina State the lead. 
with about half an hour to play. And then just about three minutes ago from the penalty spot, her fifth goal of the season, Brooklyn Rivers converting after a wonderful run from Raven Alexander. Taylor Kerwin dancing out of trouble. Rivers, well held up by the number 13. DeFilippo to Ekic. Ferraro. L'Esperance. Joseph wants it, and she's got it. Jamise Joseph ahead. Blackwood. Couldn't hold the ball up for North Carolina State. They miss an opportunity to break. Schuster. Starova. Alexander's pass intercepted. King leaves it for Walkling. Walkling. Cutting into the Cardinal defense. Sarah Hernandez, whose goal line save about 20 minutes ago seems huge now. What a difference that would have been for North Carolina State to enjoy the luxury of a two goal lead. Instead, now the penalty from Rivers has us tied. De Filippo. That gets with some time on the near sideline. De Filippo drives it at Sarova, takes a deflection off the center back. Rankin forced to knock it out of bounds for a throw in. Louisville pouring forward here for the final five minutes of this game. You see Louisville now more comfortable. They got that goal. They're playing more of their style. They're being more imposing on NC State. And I dare say, I see, a, I see a, another goal before the end of this game. You feel, really? Goals have been so hard to come by between these two teams. I don't know, man. I just, I disagree with you. I think this is uh, this has extras written all over it. We'll see. Five minutes to decide. Time will tell, my friend. But these set pieces are going to be very crucial right here. Keep an eye on the short corner. Louisville definitely likes to do that. Both goals on dead ball situations. Rivers to offer up the service, but Ekic is right there near her. Rivers does send it into the box. Ball loose, scattering around. And finally cleared by Schuster. My prediction almost came into fruition right there. I know you were, you were sweating. I was nervous. Ekic, well struck shot. Something between a cross and a shot in Berlin. Manages to handle it cleanly. See the corner kick. They're not able to clear it right there. Ricocheting off of everybody. And Hernandez almost finds the strike to put it on frame. Tensions rising on the sideline. Under five minutes to go. Still 1-1. Louisville and North Carolina State. The 5-4 matchup in the quarterfinal round of the 2019 ACC Women's Soccer Championship. Walkling. One of three Germans in the starting lineup for North Carolina State. She's found Rankin. Griffiths. Walkling. Whitfield. One on one. Walkling to the end line. The cross. Hernandez away. Nick Bowser with the whistle. Set piece coming up. A reminder, Wednesday night we'll have another big time college basketball double header for you. We start at the Dean Smith Center for Notre Dame and number nine North Carolina, 7 p.m. Eastern. Then we'll take you to the Carrier Dome for Syracuse hosting the defending, defending national champions, number 11 Virginia Cavaliers. Both games here on the ACC Network and of course available streaming live on the ESPN app.
to Filippo. Starova intercepts. The ball was headed straight for Rivers. Under three minutes left. Now Starova stepping into space. Can she lead an attack for the Wolfpack? Bending ball in here, looking for Blackwood. Raven Alexander in no place to mess around. Sends it straight out of touch for a throw. Late changes for NC State and a Tuhi. Got the game winner between these two on Thursday back in. She replaces Leah Hall Robinson. Corinne Dente into the match for Louisville. Walkling so good with that step over. Seen it time and time again today. Rankin and Whitfield slamming into each other. Louisville ball. Gabby Cazellas. Red Shirt Jr. puts it back in play. Under 90 seconds to go. Will we find a winner in regulation? Or will we have to wait? Ooh, it looks like they want to decide this thing now. Schuster, risky back pass, Berlin. A driven clearance. It's fallen to Blackwood. North Carolina State with a chance to transition. One minute to play. King on the near side flank, leaves it for Walkling. Walkling with a chance to cross, she does so. Blocked by Kerwin, cleared by Kerwin. Rankin chases it down, just able to keep it in bounds. Seconds left. Starova. Thirty seconds to go. Time for one last chance. Will either team take it? Here's Tuhi, the hero on Thursday. Lays it off for Blackwood. Ten, Assistant referee has weighed in. Seven, six, and it looks five, as though regulation four, will not three, be enough. Two, one, zero. There's the final rip whistle from our center ref, Nick Balser. And at the end of regulation, we are all even at one. A Louisville own goal put North Carolina State ahead, but a penalty from Brooklyn Rivers tied us up with 10 minutes to go. When we return, extra soccer here on the ACC Network. Welcome back to the 2019 ACC Women's Soccer Championship quarterfinals between Louisville and North Carolina State. Scoring opening up early in the second half, an own goal. Gave North Carolina State a one nothing lead. They nearly made it two before Louisville. Sarah Hernandez made a big save off the line. And Louisville defender Raven Alexander, a rare foray into the penalty area. She draws the penalty kick. Brooklyn Rivers converts with about 10 minutes to play. And in regulation, there was no difference between the fifth seed and the fourth seed in the Atlantic Coast Conference. 1-1 as we head to overtime. Aguchi Onyewu, Sebastian Salazar with you on the call from Louisville, Kentucky here on the ACC Network. Let's get you caught up on the rules and regulations of overtime here in the NCAA postseason. We have two 10-minute periods. It is sudden victory. There's no re-entry in the first or second overtime periods for any substituted players. And if we're still tied after the second overtime, penalty kicks will decide who advances to Friday's semifinal round. Interesting second half there, Aguchi. I wouldn't say it was much different from the first, except North Carolina State got their goal, and then we did get the response 
from Louisville. Who do you suppose has the momentum now that we hit overtime? Well, we'll say that Louisville scored twice today. <laughs> True. You know, the own goal and the goal, the penalty. Right now, I would say going into this overtime period, Louisville has the advantage. Uh, they were on the front foot after the goal. It almost felt like they started believing in the fact that they could win this game after they scored that penalty. So, And they're playing in front of their home crowd. So right now I'm going to give the edge to them that they're going to try and end this overtime period as quick as possible. But be careful with NC State because just like they did three days ago, Louisville was always on the offensive, but they were able to get that goal to put them on top. Louisville were in this exact same spot a year ago in the ACC quarterfinals. They fell 2-1 against the University of Virginia. They'd like to avenge that defeat and the defeat Thursday night on this very field to the same North Carolina State team. They can do that with a goal in the next 10 minutes. Again, it is a sudden victory between the Wolfpack and the Cardinals. First overtime underway. Winner through to the semifinals. North Carolina State hasn't been to the semifinal round of an ACC tournament, but once since 1996. Louisville just joining the conference in 2014. They've never been to the semifinals of an Atlantic Coast Conference postseason tournament. History on the table for both programs. Who's going to grab it? At this point, either team can win this game. They've been very evenly squared up throughout the 90 minutes going into this overtime period. It's definitely going to be which defense is going to slip up mm -hmm. and which offense is going to take advantage. You can see the focus shifting to defense. Amina Ekic, the Usually free-spirited number 10, locking in on her defensive duties here in sudden victory. Ball into the box, cleared away by Louisville. North Carolina State starting the overtime with more of the possession. King turns, always dangerous. L'Esperance with a critical defensive intervention. And it's led to a Louisville counterattack. Ekic, quiet throughout the day. Can she turn it on here in overtime? Dente, well served ball, the header! Over the crossbar from Delaney Snyder, the super sub, nearly coming through. And right there you see the cross, Delaney Snyder gets her head on it, but is not able to redirect it on target, but just like that, the game could have been over, and they're just so dangerous sometimes when they get the crosses the right way on the target. Worth noting, it is Delaney Snyder in up top right now for Louisville, not Brooklyn Rivers. Rivers on the sideline. It was she that scored the equalizing goal from the penalty spot. Sparing the Cardinals from a regulation defeat. What a defensive play from Schuster. Now she turns on the Jets. North Carolina State looking for a counter of their own. Blackwood, the number nine for King. Walkley fighting through a challenge. Such a low center of gravity for this number seven. To me, Walkley has been such a spark on this team all game. You know, I would say that as a whole, the NC State team hasn't been very bright, hasn't been very effective, but Walkling, everything starts through her defensively, offensively. She's been taking players on. She's been distributing the passes, and she almost got behind the ball on goal if Hernandez didn't clear that off the line. She's no one of these players that has played for Bayern Munich, made her senior team debut at 16. She's played for the German under 16, 17, and under 19 national teams. King, poked away by Whitfield, back to King. Snyder collects, 
Slips it ahead for Ekic. Ekic on that left foot. Beautifully switched for L'Esperance. Dente, a run out of midfield. Here comes the Louisville number 12. Steers back towards her own goal now. A hopeful cross, cut out by her opposite number. Jaden Thomas. Now Jamise Joseph. Joseph pass Nelson, Joseph again. Sarah Hernandez. How many times have we called that name here tonight? The number two for Louisville has been so clutch in defense. Yeah, but you see Joseph right there, what she can do when she has confidence, just taking on players at speed. If Hernandez wasn't able to cut that final pass, she would have found King right there in the 18 in the final third in order to get a shot on goal. Good ball from Nelson. Can Whitfield get to it? Yes, she does, and earns a corner kick in the process. We've seen set pieces and especially corner kicks be very, very dangerous so far here this afternoon. Could we be on the verge of a decisive one? Substitutes coming for Louisville. Brooklyn Rivers back into the match, as is Jessica DeFilippo. Dead ball situations have been critical on both sides. They've been so dangerous on corner kicks. Six players in the box for Louisville. Low cross from Rivers. Ball slips out to the top of the box, and here comes the Wolfpack. It's a break. Gutenberger, can she find King? Yes. King in a foot race. King on her left foot. King. No! We said the set piece determined it, but on the other field, they were able to break the pressure and get a quick counterattack that they executed so beautifully to get the winning goal. Her 13th goal of the season could not have come at a better time. Ziara King, Z for short. You with see the, the game play winner. right there. She's fighting off her arrow. She's still staying strong. She beats her player and just slots it far post past the keeper to win for the second time in three days against Louisville. North Carolina State are through to the semifinals. Ciara King, the game-winning goal in the 97th minute. And the Wolfpack are moving on. For Gucci Onyewu, I'm Sebastian Salazar. Thanks for watching. North Carolina State advances. We now send you to Charlottesville for Duke and UVA. Enjoy.